Look at him. Look how pretty Ragnaros the Fire Lord is. Oh my god, I'm so excited to play him. Hello everybody and welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. It feels like it's been ages since I've actually said that. I, uh, I haven't played Heroes for about three months. Legit about three months. Um, last time I was actually excited about Heroes of the Storm was when... Um, BlizzCon was airing, and they revealed Ragnaros. Now, I'm I'm going to tell you a little secret. I'm a really tight Englishman, and I will not spend money unless there is nothing else to spend it on. And because of Legion being released, because of the new Hearthstone um, expansion coming out, I put Heroes just down for a second. I was really, really excited to play Ragnaros, and I was like, you know what? Uh, this month, which would have been November, I've got three birthdays. I need to repair the car. And we need to save up for Christmas. So it was kind of a case of, I don't really want to just blow money. I mean, it's only £7, £8. That's how tight I am. I don't want to really blow money uh, on something that I might not even really get my playtime out of. But, Harley K has come out with a beautiful suggestion. And we're actually going to try to do the Nexus challenge here. Which is play 30 games in a party with a friend. So me and her are going to be recording quite a few videos um, by playing Heroes of the Storm. And then I just thought, you know what, screw it. I'm going to buy Ragnaros finally and I'm going to play him. i played him for four games. Uh, these four here. And uh, yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. I really, really, really really like Ragnaros. He's a really, really cool character. He's one of my favourite characters of all time with regards to um, just World of Warcraft lore. Uh, I think he's absolutely amazing. I was there when we took him down originally in Molten Core like 10, 11 years ago. So it, it's, it's really nice to actually play him. Let's jump into the game. We're going to go through uh, the build that I've been playing with and the build that I feel is probably most He's probably the most effective with him. Um, and yeah, just be prepared for a fair few uh, Heroes of the Storm games. I'm probably not going to record all 30, but we'll record the good ones. And hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Let's do this. Okay, we're playing on the Towers of Doom today. Look how cool he looks. Just look at how beautiful this guy looks. Ugh is amazing. Anyway, um, we're going to go with a W build today. We're going to be focusing a lot on his meatball. Trust me, you'll understand exactly what that means later on in the game. Let's go over his abilities. So, his Q is a auto attack reset that actually deals a fair chunk of ability damage and actually heals him from 20% of the damage caused. His W, which is his meatball, is called Living Meteor. Basically, it's a um, long-range skill shot where you will drop a meteor and then it will damage enemies within its path. And then his E, which is very, very just weak, I think, is a movement increase, movement speed increase, and then just a little bit of AoE around you. Um, I've been looking at the forums and stuff and, uh, like, build guides and things, and there are specifically three builds you can build the Ragnaros, which is really cool. I'm really, really impressed with um, what they've done. Uh, basically, you can fully max out his Q, you can fully max out his E, or you can fully max out his W, which is what we're going to be doing. The quest that I took right at the start is I've got to hit the en uh, enemies 50 times with the Meteors. Now, it's not just a straight 50, um, like, just hit them straight off. Because he actually rolls, it's really, really easy to get this quest uh, done. I mean, look, that hit him four times there. It's, it's, it's really, really nice and really, really easy. I'm going to need help here. Uh, I, I, I probably won't be able to do this by myself. As long as I just get some lane XP, that's fine. And I want to make sure that we keep on hitting um, them with my Meteor. Okay, we really need some help here. We might actually have to use our trait. Our trait is really what makes Ragnaros Ragnaros. Um, it's called Molten Core. Yes, it's a hark back to the original World of Warcraft dungeon. Uh, raid even. And uh, basically, he becomes the size of a building. It's insane. When, when he was originally um, announced at BlizzCon, I was like, how the hell are they going to make Ragnaros? Because Ragnaros is huge. I was thinking, like, how is that going to be possible? Oh, some nice damage there. But they all did it with Molten Core. And it's really, really nice. It's a really, really cool ability. I'm just going to trade. 
Have we actually filled out our uh, mission yet? We've only hit 20 times. Okay. Let's go for... Up, living Ward. We're going to need to sippy cup this. Oh, shit. We've already used it. Okay, that sucks. Go forth and claim daughters in my name. The Reben Lord demands it. Another Shrine. Bring down the Grave Keepers. Can we take on Diablo? I, I don't know. And I... I don't know my ability. <laughs> Do I have the ability to take him on? Let's get this regen globe. You know what? I think we do. Bye bye. Okay, let's clear this out a little bit now. Right, I'm going to go back. Just to get a decent chunk of mana. Decent chunk of health. Then we're going forward. We're ahead by one level, which is really, really cool. Not not like super ahead, but... No here, the enemy's actually succeeded in getting the objective, which kind of sucks. He has some really, really, really nice... Lame push potential. He isn't a split pusher. I want to be like 100% clear with that. There is no way that Diablo is... Uh, that Diablo? That Ragnaros is going to be able to split push effectively. He has no escape. Oh, shit. Oh, see what I mean? I have no escape. I have no escape. Oh, shit. We hit him a ton of times there. 32. Okay, nice. Can we take them out? Oh shit, that crow meat really did some damage. We're going to give him the movement seed increase. Just make sure he escapes. Good. We're going to pick this up and... You know what? It's time. It is time. Oh, oh he's massive. I love it. Gonna deal some damage from afar. We turn into an absolute beast. Come on, team! Capitalize on my awesome damage. Yes, we managed to kill someone. Brilliant. Okay, we're gonna go for model power after hitting enemies. Living meteor deals extra damage. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go bot. Oh, in fact, no. We need to claim this. We need to claim this, like, now. Take the oh, shit. Get out of there. Get out of there. Move, move, move. No! Chromie killed me. My own fault. My own fault. We need to get this objective. Come on. Stop being pussies. No! Oh my god, team! We have an Anubarak. Why didn't he go and dive? We just need to prevent them from getting the objective. We don't need to kill them or anything like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, what are you going to say? Meh. Can't say oh. We're still ahead by level. <laughs> so why are we losing? That makes no sense. Okay, let's drop some siege damage on here. I really like the fact that you can direct the meteor to hit the entirety of the uh, enemy's defenses. Okay, I've been caught in stasis. Oh my god, Diablo came out of nowhere. That was my own fault. I shouldn't have stayed there long enough. Remember guys, it's been it's been like three months since I played. <laughs> what is kind of annoying is these guys are actually in a party. I don't know if you can see 
No, you can't see actually in here, but they are in a party. There's like four of them versus just us five people that aren't in a party. So they're probably on VoIP. They're probably on voice over, uh, on um, voice comms or something. The enemy team are now taking over as in levels. The Yotlas are spawning bottom. I'm going to quickly try and push this lane out. Perfect opportunity. Here we go. Ready for a lava wave? This is my ulti. Look how pretty this is. Oh! I'm going to clear that lane. Oh my god, I love it. It does nearly no damage when it comes to enemies, uh, when it comes to buildings, but it pushes the entire lane so far. It's beautiful. It really is. Okay, let's go for Stitches. Oh my god, Stitches eating me. Please kill him, please kill him, please kill him, please kill him. Yes, okay, nice. Shit, I knew exactly where that was. We've slain Diablo. Nice. Okay, we need to get this now. I'm just going to body block. I don't care if I die. Yes, we actually got an objective. Brilliant. Give Leeming... Oh, no. I was going to give her a little bit of a speed boost, but I just messed up. No comment. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Just it just... just no. I was going to say, did he just blink? But no, he won't have blink at this level. Okay. So we're now ahead by one level. This is a really good game. This is really intense. I like it. I'm really excited to play more Heroes. I, if, For those of you that don't know, I, a lot of my channel originally was Heroes content. I love Heroes of the Storm. But as I mentioned, tight Englishman. And as I wasn't putting a lot of time into the game at a specific point, I was like, you know what? Do I need Ragnaros, really? Yes. Yes is the answer, guys. Yes, I do. Okay, we've got Lava Wave. This is brilliant. So, we're going to go... I probably want to go bot and push the lane a little bit more. Okay, we definitely want to push the lane now. Oh, thank you very much, Diablo, for messing up Stitch's hook. Because... Me. The, uh... Minions are going to come down this lane. By fire be purged! Oh, baby, that was nice. Let's clear these out like ASAP. Oh, good. I really like Ragnaros purely because of his ultimate. His ultimate, I think, is possibly one of the best ultimates in the entire game. You can clear a minion wave from it. it, it it's ridiculous. We're going to go um, with Q, uh, with Cauterized Wounds here. Basically, it enhances the, the heal that we get from hitting them with our Q. Claim the altars in my name. Okay, the altars have spawned. Stop Zarya. Stop her. Stop her. There we go. Okay, I'm going to get it, guys. I'm going to get it. You guys keep them busy. Oh, really? She used Graviton Charge. Okay. I'm going to get it. No, I'm not. Okay, the meatball's out. The meatball's out. The meatball's gone. Diablo. Diablo's dead. Brilliant. Meatball is away. Oh, we got a triple kill. Um, I actually think we could probably team kill them. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Yes! This is going really well. No! Crow me! Oh my god. Okay, Zeratul, go, go, come on. We need it to be claimed, guys. Like now. The Gravekeeper has taken a tower. Yes, our cannons are firing. This is good. Um, the enemy actually managed to get over here. Managed to get the um, the camp. I believe these go up top. So we probably want to head up top just to uh, destroy the minion wave. I want to try and wait until we see the enemy. Until we see the minions. In fact, no, you know what? Seeing as Gul'dan and Zeratul are going there, let's go bot. Do you want to go bot? Oh, I don't know. Near our core that leads to the battleground center. Use it well. What? I mean, 
I knew I could do that. I've opened my tunnel as well. Okay, let's push this. Nice! Olorak just walked into my ultimate. I had a feeling that we were going to start coming towards me. Nice. We're going to go for Meteor, uh, uh, Meteor, uh, Meteor Bomb here. Holy shit, we caught into Zeratul. Very nice. Oh my god, I'm stunned again. <laughs> Destruction! No! Zarya! Oh, why did I not hit Zarya? Still, we're a f ahead by a full level now. Our core health is a lot higher than theirs, which is brilliant. Zeratul's gonna get some back. Oh, Chromie. Just deleted him from the game. Okay. <laughs> Let's go get some more altars. 20 seconds now, I believe. Yeah, the enemy's up for a lot longer, which kind of sucks. Hmm, we shall see. See how we do. Gul'dan's going up top. Li Ming's going bottom, just to monitor. Very nice indeed. I'm probably going to make my way top as well. Lay claim to the altars. Do not disappear. Li Ming's being very risky. They're actually going for their altar uh, on their side. That's fine. Stitches, he's dead. Let's capture this ASAP. Your time is ending. Oh, nicely done. The cannons are firing. Chromie, where are you going? Nope. Denied. You know what? By fire, be purged. Chase Diablo down the lane. Here it comes. Will it kill him? It probably won't. I didn't realize how long it took. It took a while. Okay, brilliant. We can. I can now take over their base, which is really, really, really cool. Let's go for the boss. Very good call, enemy, te uh, enemy team. Friendly team. Here comes the meatball. And as you can see, I feel that Ragnos is a very, very balanced hero. He has really good, like, in-lane sustain with his with his uh, Empower Sulfurous hit, uh, giving him some self-sustain. He has got amazing wave clear every 100 seconds. Um, he's just really, really nice. He's a really, really nice character. I kind of want to go up here. Oh, no, we're all right, we're all right, we're all right. Let's go and get Alarak. Are we going to be able to actually take out all of this? Meatball is out. It's going to hit two of them. Very nice indeed. We are. I'm going to take it over, guys. Let me take it over. Oh, boom! Oh, end game boss mode initiated. Oh, my God. It feels so good. <laughs> I love it. 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 I will never stop loving this character. Holy shit, that feels so good. Especially when you're fighting around it. It's so nice. Okay, we're actually defending here, which is really good. I'm going to capture this. Zarya. Have the meatball, and she's dead. Oh my god. We're going to go for Lava Surge, which allows us to have two charges of our... Um, What's in bloody call? I can't really remember. Lava wave. Yeah, he's dead. We're capturing the altar. Chromie's got to run away. Can we get Chromie? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No! Alarak kicked my ass. Okay, we need to go bomb. Oh, like, now. Um, I didn't realize how far they'd pushed ahead. If we go bot, we can actually clear this and recapture this back, which is lovely. Our core health is still pretty high. I think we can survive an extra wave after this. Let us ravage the enemy's 
Yeah, we need to we need to defend over there. We need to put get this pushing. We need it on our side. Okay, they're pushing top hardcore. To a tower has okay, they've captured the blacksmith. Lost. It's fine. As long as we get the next set of cannons, I think we've won. That's the thing we're coming back to something like heroes. I can't remember the numbers or the percentages or anything like that. I mean, three months is a long time. Right, I'm going to go here. I'm going to use our ulti. It's going to push that lane back. By fire be purged! We actually have an extra one up here as well, so you know what? Lava surge. Eat this, bitches! Okay, I want to capture this back. Like ASAP. Take the altars and put an end to the Oh, you, <laughs> you dick. Keep destroyed. I don't know why it went that way. <laughs> Excuse me. Leeming's just died. Are they going for boss? You've lost this one, They've not gone for boss. Not be your last. Okay, we've still got a little bit of success to go. Chromie split pushing again, bottom. Why is Chromie able to split push? Okay, we need to get out of there. Keep eliminated. This tower shall serve the Raven Lord. Another warning, me. That's fine. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care. We're down for 64 seconds. I should care. But honestly, I think we're okay. As long as a team can get the cannonballs next, we've won. We've actually claimed this, which is good. There's some map presence now. Um, I need to sort of push this back. Blah, blah, blah. Captured the blacksmith. Okay, that's fine. The grave keeper claims another tower. We've captured the farm. Brilliant. Keep destroyed. We've still got the top lane. The tower now For now. To me. Okay, the altar, the altars are spawning. Twenty five seconds. We're up in twenty one. Once more. Oh, let's do this. This this will be the game winning. Game uh, winning fight. Let's do this. Let's. Do this! Okay, we're just gonna go a little bit bottom. Then we're gonna call the fire. As you can see on the map, it's pretty telegraphed. But the enemies will be able to see exactly where it goes. You know what? We're gonna call it on this lane as well. Come on, team. Come on, team. Here I come. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Chromie's dead. Screw you, Chromie. Meatball? Fudge! Where did everyone go? Why did everyone die? No! You know what I think's funny? You are no welcome, that guy's playing Zarya, and he's clearly Russian with his name. <laughs> okay, so that game-winning fight, we, we, we didn't win it. Um, <laughs> this is really intense. This is a really good game. Kill him. Kill Alarak. Okay, they're down for a minute. This is good. 61 seconds. 
I want to push out from the mid lane. We've got a lava wave in 10 seconds. You have lost to keep. Oh, Zarya, man. A tower. I've yet to play Zarya. I'm still really looking forward to that. I did also purchase Zarya as well. Keep destroyed. Okay, we've captured the bottom. This is good. Heroes. Let's uh, purge this lane. Oh. It's so pretty. That Olimar is ridiculous. I want to try and take over this far as soon as we get it. This keep, sorry. The tower is mine. As it should be. <laughs> we need to focus on staying together. Okay, good. This is good. Right, let's get the altars, guys. Come on. Meatballers out. I say, your enemy has destroyed a keep. A tower has been. This is for the win. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Meatballs out. Like all the others. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby! Ooh! And there we go, there's a win. That was a really, really good game. That's awesome. <laughs> that is well, awesome. Heroes. Really? MVP. MVP Goldan? Really? Oh. What did I get? What did I get? Give me something good. Oh, 29% of the uh, team's XP. That's pretty good. We're going to one me up. <laughs> All right. Boom. Let's exit that, and I'll show you exactly the build that we went with. He's so pretty, man. He's so pretty. Okay, so... Talents. We focus mainly on building up our W, which is uh, Living Meteor. So Shifting Meteor basically will do extra damage and it will travel further as well, which is really nice if we manage to hit 50 heroes. Fire Ward gives us a uh, spell block. Mortal Power. Each enemy, each hero hit by uh, Living Meteor increases the damage of the Living Meteor by 15% to a maximum of 75. That's really, really nice. It allows you to burst down heroes really, really quickly if you keep a note. I didn't actually show you, but down like by Ragnaros's portrait, you can actually see uh, like a meter and that basically shows you how many charges you've got on your uh, on your meteor. Uh, Lava Wave, the big wave clear of doom. Got our eyes wounds just to give us some additional healing. Uh, meteor Bomb, Living Meteor explodes at the end of its path, deals 220 additional damage, and then boom, 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 Lava Surge, which gives us two Lava Waves. Really, really good game. I'm glad that it's the first one I've actually started to record. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, please leave a like, and let me know if you want to see more Heroes content. Um, I'm going to put it up anyway, but I just want to know if you want to do it. And obviously, this is me sort of, this is me buying Ragnaros for like Christmas and stuff. Let me know what you guys are doing for Christmas. I want to see what you're doing for Christmas. Tell me. Tell me in the comments below. Take care, and I'll see you bye. Really like Ragnaros. He's a really, really cool character. He's one of my favorite characters of all time with regards to um, just World of Warcraft lore. Uh, I think he's absolutely amazing. I was there when we took him down originally in Molten Core like 10, 11 years ago. So it, it's, it's really nice to actually play him. Let's jump into the game. We're going to go through uh, the build that I've been playing with and the build that I feel is probably most is probably most effective with him. Um, and yeah, just be prepared for a fair few uh, Heroes of the Storm games. I'm probably not going to record all 30, but we'll record the good ones and hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Let's do this. Okay, we're playing on the Towers of Doom today. Look how cool he looks. Just look at how beautiful this guy looks. Ugh. 
is amazing. Anyway, um, we're going to go with a W build today. We're going to be focusing a lot on his meatball. Trust me, you'll understand exactly what that means later on in the game. Let's go over his abilities. So, his Q is a auto attack reset that actually deals pounds, eight pounds. That's how tight I am. I don't want to really blow money uh, on something that I might not even really get my playtime out of. But, Harley K has come out with a beautiful suggestion, and we're actually going to try to do the Nexus challenge here, which is play 30 games in a party with a friend. So, me and her are going to be recording quite a few videos um, by playing Heroes of the Storm, and then I just thought, you know what, screw it. I'm going to buy Ragnaros finally, and I'm going to play him. I've played him for four games, uh, these four here, and uh, yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. I really, really, really... Really old Ragnaros. Now I'm I'm gonna tell you a little secret. I'm a really tight Englishman and I will not spend money unless there is nothing else to spend it on. And because of Legion being released, because of the new Hearthstone um, expansion coming out, I put heroes just down for a second. I was really, really excited to play Ragnaros and I was like, you know what? Uh, this month, which would have been November, I've got three birthdays. I need to repair the car. And we need to save up for Christmas. So it was kind of a case of, I don't really want to just blow money. I mean, it's only seven. Look at him. Look how pretty Ragnaros the Fire Lord is. Oh my god, I'm so excited to play him. Hello everybody and welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. It feels like it's been ages since I've actually said that. I, uh, I haven't played Heroes for about three months. Legit about three months. Um, last time I was actually excited about Heroes of the Storm was when um, BlizzCon was airing and they revealed...